So I um, had read somewhere or heard somewhere that um, the filaments of tubes like the 1U4, these type, that were designed for um, vacuum tube radios, portable battery powered vacuum tube radios, were um, you could blow their filaments if you check the continuity with uh, an ohmmeter. <clears throat> And I, I thought that that was a bit excessive because I never thought any meters could uh, produce that amount of current, more than 50 milliamps. Why would they use all that current? But um, I, I thought I, it would be interesting to check using um, modern, a modern fluke meter. In um, it's, it's in uh, ohms, and in this meter, I'm checking the current. So. Um, that's in the, let's see here, um, that's showing 0.29 um, milliamps. So that is just, that fluke is just using a fraction of, uh, there's 0.29 um, milliamps, 0.3 actually. But that just goes to show that a modern meter is very low. There it's in the continuity mode. It doesn't change. So I think uh, that particular meter is nothing to worry about. <clears throat> now, now I'll switch to some older digital multimeters. Let's try this old wave tech. Okay, so here's uh, an old wave tech DM27XT, and uh, we're in the 200 ohm. That's the, that should be the highest current, and that is one milliamp tried in each range. Oops. And that's the highest. It hardly registers. And um, I'll turn it off and I'll turn it up to the continuity diode function. Turn it on again. And it's just a little over one milliamp. So that one is safe. So here. Um, <clears throat> I'm using an old uh, 1950s Heathcote model V7A um, VTVM and I've got it in ohms mode and I've got it in the lowest setting 1 R times 1 and uh, sure enough it's putting 109 milliamps into whatever I'm measuring. Let's go a little higher and see what happens. It, as you go up in scale it puts smaller and smaller amounts of current into the device. So <clears throat> to measure one one ohm maximum uh, uh, full scale, you're putting 110 milliamps into uh, the circuit. So this one will blow the the tube's filament. So here we are. Um, Here's an old Archer, uh, Archer kit, Radio Shack uh, a VOM kit from the 70s. And I put it into 1 ohm. And it's uh, putting out 132 milliamps in uh, the 1 ohm. Let's see, 10 ohms. 15 milliamps. 1.6. Then fractions of milliamps. So that's putting out a very hefty. That one's putting out the highest. That would blow any any um, 1U4 tube. 19, 15, R times 10. So if you put these uh, VOMs on the lowest range, you'll blow the filament for sure. So um, I thought I'd try a really high-end Hewlett-Packard 
vacuum tube voltmeter of the 60s and on the one on the 0 0.01 ohms scale it's measuring 4.48 milliamps and as I go higher in the let's see times 10 it's 9 in times 100 it's 10 milliamps 1 milliamp in the times uh, 1000 0 0.09 milliamps in the 10k and um, so low in 100k it's unmeasurable so at least on the rating I have it on there on the scale so the highest that one puts out is 4.48 milliamps into the meter so that one's safe to check filaments with but uh, VOMs I wouldn't and uh, lower end VTVMs I wouldn't check it with the lowest scale so be very aware of what your um, your VTVM or analog meter puts out in the ohms range because you you might blow a a filament or a, another device same thing would work with certain solid state devices even very small light bulbs so that is something to keep in mind because a lot of um, antique radio collectors and antique uh, test equipment collectors might not think when they're testing those tubes best to devise some other method of just check it with a digital a modern digital voltmeter VOM that should be uh, no problem because as I've seen here I've taken two and um, they were both within way within the specs that would never harm the filament maybe I'll just check one more meter that uh, is a digital meter so here um, is a Micronta auto range digital multimeter from the probably the 80s and it's an auto let's see here put it into K ohms and it's an automatic uh, you don't set the settings you don't so it just automatically goes to whatever it is depending on the resistance and it's putting out 0.67 milliamps so this one is very good for checking filaments too my curiosity got the better of me and um, I thought I'd check out this um, World War II uh, vintage um, Weston volt ohm meter model 443 and I expected a pretty high current so I put it on the 10 amp scale and uh, it's got this R divided by 5 here it's the lowest scale and it's measuring uh, 200 milliamps almost so that that's a uh, pretty hefty go down to the R times 1 and it is 51 milliamps go down to R times 10 and it's 5 milliamps go down to R times 100 and um, let's see here 0.5 R times a thousand and it's point zero five and R times ten thousand and it's also um point zero five. See it's the same. For those two scales it's the same. So that's a pretty beefy um, amount of current that that World War II meter puts through it, so never check your, your tube filaments in the lowest setting on this or the on the point the R divided by 5 or R times 1 scale on this type of meter